Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barton at Looking Point. We help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're going to be going through some of the new WebEx features that are just released. Let's go! We're back and we're talking about the WebEx features that were just released. Let's start with the WebEx Assistant. So WebEx Assistant allows you to turn on closed captioning. So as people are speaking, it'll put at the bottom of the screen the text that they're speaking so you can easily read along. Um, there's also an option to change languages with that feature as well. Additionally, you can say things like, OK, WebEx, and it will start listening for commands. So you can say, make a note of this. It'll highlight it in the highlighted area from the WebEx application. Additionally, if you wanted to just scroll through the closed captioning or the text captured and highlight that, you can do that as well. So another feature that was recently released is noise cancellation. Now noise cancellation eliminates background noise that may be happening like somebody doing the yard work outside or maybe a leaf blower, those types of noises, or even like a hissing noise in the background. And we did a test with paper, like just shaking a piece of paper, turned it on and uh, with shaking the piece of paper and we didn't hear the noise. The people on the far end didn't hear the noise. Then we turned noise cancellation off. I shake the same paper and you can hear the difference. So what we're gonna do right now is roll the difference of the, fir the first and the second option. So the first one being with noise cancellation on, the noise echo, noise cancellation. The second one being with noise cancellation off. And As you can see, the noise canceling feature works really, really well. I think it's a highlight to enabling one of those meetings that you have less distractions and you can just focus on the content that you're, you're focused on or the meeting subject as opposed to listening to a dog barking or all these things that happen in our lives today as we're working more and more from home. So the next feature is gestures. So you can actually click the gestures like thumbs up, thumbs down. You could do the emojis. All of that you can do natively just by clicking on the buttons. But what they've added in addition to that is gesture recognition. So the three that it supports today is a thumbs up, a thumbs down, and the clapping hands emoji. And so as you do that, you'll clap your hands, there'll be a counter that counts down, and then it'll, once it's counted down, it'll actually pass that emoji. And I think the idea there is if you're like thumbs up real quick, but you didn't really want to uh, send that emoji out, you'd have to hold your thumb there. For me personally, it's a really cool idea. However, I'll probably just click the button, but it is showing you a little bit about what they're thinking about in terms of AI, recognition, you know, recognizing their hand position, recognizing facial uh, expressions. You could see really where they could potentially go with it. And along those lines, I think, you know, when you take into account the uh, speech recognition, maybe they're doing some gesture analysis and some of the AI back in, maybe they could start predicting mood or those types of things. So you could kind of see, hey, if people are on web axes all day, maybe listening to voice tonality, looking at facial expressions, hey, this person may not be so happy. <laughs> and maybe they go there, I don't, I don't know. So you can see how some of this technology is coming together. I really think we're gonna have an enhanced experience over time. And as WebEx and as the platform evolves, more and more features like this are gonna come in to make your experience all that much better. So we covered some of the features of the WebEx platform. Hopefully that gives you an idea of where they're going with the platform and some of the things that could be coming in the future. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.